right, so I'm using a little bit of cinnamon in my oats. I'm using the Ceylon one. So this one is not the really spicy one and it's not really harmful for you if you use a lot of it. So you also have this cinnamon. So this one is, you have Ceylon cinnamon and uh, cassia, something like that. But this one is the more spicy one. This is not so spicy, so you can use, like I use five grams usually, but I don't really measure it out anymore. But cinnamon is just great for carb absorption, keeps your blood sugar level on a good level, and it also tastes pretty good. So I use it in my morning hours every single day. Then we got. Uh, no, we're gonna do this one later. Then we got some whey protein, of course. I'll do two scoops. So I don't really weigh these out, but it's usually like 15 grams, so maybe even less. Then we got 15 or 20 grams of this nut mix. 21. That's fine. And there we have our breakfast. First meal of the day, we got 100 grams of oats, we got some raisins in there, two scoops of whey, so that's about 60 grams of whey, a little bit of nutmegs, you can use peanut butter, regular nuts, whatever you like, and some cinnamon, of course. And that's pretty much it. Carbs, healthy fats, protein, just one of the best breakfasts that, that you can eat. And still, my favorite breakfast, I think I've been eating this breakfast for like, like maybe two years now so yeah sometimes i switch it up sometimes i'll have eggs you know when i feel like it or when i have a lower carb day just make some eggs in the morning with some veggies but whenever i'm eating a lot of carbs this is the breakfast to go all right so today we got another full day of eating because you guys asked for it and i'm here to deliver so starting off with breakfast this is going to be the first meal of the day obviously first i did 30 minutes of cardio so usually I'll just do 30 minutes on the bike or I'll do 30 minutes of uh, jump rope. So today it was jump rope. I did it faster, obviously, uh, not because it burns more fat or anything like that, but just because I don't, I don't like it when I do cardio and I have like a full stomach. So I just do an empty stomach, drink enough water and uh, do the cardio and then I'll have breakfast. So this is the first meal of the day. I'm gonna wait for like an hour or two. Then I'm gonna have the next meal, which also, it's gonna have some carbs in it, some protein, and maybe a little bit of fats. That is gonna be the pre-workout meal. Then I'm gonna hit the gym. Then I'm gonna go back, have two more meals, two more bigger meals, and one like bedtime snack slash meal. And that is gonna be it for today. So yeah, this is the first meal of the day. Big meal, enough carbs, 100 grams of oats. Uh, yeah, I've, I've explained it before, so I don't need to tell you again. But obviously this, this is like the best meal of the day in my opinion because I look forward to this meal every single day. I mean it just like it's my personal favorite. But yeah I'm gonna eat this and I guess I'll see you guys for the second meal of the day. I think I'm gonna make some rice with some chicken, something easy digestible before the gym. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, so for the next meal we're gonna have some chicken. So one of these is around 250 grams. So this one kg, you have four, four pieces, so that's 250 grams of chicken. I'm just gonna cut that up into pieces. So I'm going to put this in the air fryer because the air fryer just makes it 
so much better. You can also put the chicken in as a whole, like the whole piece, but I just like to cut it up into pieces because it takes less long and it stays juicier. Now we wait. We got a package of basmati rice. I just make that in the microwave. We got a little bit of spinach and we got 250 grams of chicken. And in the end, I also put in like 10 grams of olive oil for some healthy fats and just also for the taste. So yeah, that is meal number two. We got some clean carbs. We got a little bit of protein and some greens for the vitamins and for the nutrient absorption. And yeah, there is the pre-workout meal, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna let this digest for, I would say an hour, because it's pretty pretty easy on the stomach. It's very easy digestible for me. So that's why I also go with these foods and with all the other meals that you're gonna see in this video. Those are usually the foods that I really respond well to. So that's why I eat them. But yeah, this is the pre-workout meal. We got some carbs, protein, fats, everything we need. So I'm gonna eat this, let it digest go hit the gym and i think i'll see you guys for meal number three then because i'm not gonna include the workout in this video because it's gonna be too long so i'm just gonna show you the meals in this video and yeah as always i'm just gonna put all the information of every meal on top of the screen so you can check it out if you want to make it yourself but yeah let's eat this and i'll catch you guys for meal number three all right time for the post workout meal Man, that workout was pretty tough. I just hit legs. Uh, that's gonna be for a different video. I think it's gonna be the next video. So if you wanna have a solid leg workout, definitely stay tuned for the next video. But yeah, it was a good session. Now we're gonna have the post workout meal. I got some sweet potato and pineapple from the market. Got the zucchini and we have some lean ground beef. That's gonna be the post workout meal. First, I'm gonna prepare the sweet potato. So what I usually do is just wash the sweet potato and then grab a fork and then just stab it like this. It's almost Halloween, so we're practicing it already. Just make sure that you don't stab yourself, please. Just like that. All right, sorry for the aggressiveness, but it has to be that way. Then you're gonna grab some paper towel, put your sweet potato inside, and then make it wet. Same with this one. Make sure it's all covered. Just squeeze the, the extra water out so it's not too watery, like this. And now, I'm gonna put this one in the microwave for, I would say, like eight minutes because it's a bigger one. So put it in the microwave for eight minutes and because we wrapped it up with a wet paper towel, it like steams from the inside. So you don't have to cook it. You can also put it in the air fryer, but it, it takes longer. This is a really enjoyable way to eat it. So just wrap it up, microwave for a couple of minutes, and in the meantime, you can prepare your other stuff. I 
right, so now we're going to go in with the zucchini. We're going to add some. We're going to go in with some, with some parsley, some dried parsley, and a little bit of olive oil. Just a drizzle, maybe a half a serving. That's all. So as you can see, these are fully steamed right now. Just a couple of minutes. Super nice. All right, so there we got the post-workout meal. Man, it smells good. And I'm so hungry right now. Yeah, so good. This is probably also one of my, my favorite meals at the moment because I just really like sweet potato. Like, I don't know, just so easy to make. And it's also like, so good. I know it's so simple. Like these meals are pretty simple as I told you guys, but I've been eating like the same things for years. And you just have to play around with the spices uh, that you use. Just switch it up from time to time. But I really enjoy eating these foods. Like you don't have to eat these foods, but like I enjoy eating these foods and I re respond really well to them. So that's why I eat them. And I also see progress when I eat the way that I do. So yeah, that's why, why I eat like this. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna top this off with a little bit of hot sauce or a lot of hot sauce. It's not super high in calories, this one. It's all right. I don't really measure out the, the sauce and stuff because I just give it consistency in my, in my diet and I usually just use stuff that is very low in calories, something like hot sauce or sugar-free ketchup, something like that. So I don't really measure it out. I just keep it consistent in my diet from beginning to end. And that's how you can track things accurately. So yeah, that's the sauce that I use. But yeah, that is the meal. We got some ground beef right there, lean ground beef. I think this is 5% lean ground beef. So five grams of fat per 100 grams. We got some zucchini of course for the vitamins and some sweet potato for the carbs and i also had a protein shake on the way home so that's some extra protein some quick absorbing protein on the way home so yeah i forgot to show you that but yeah protein shake on the way home now we got a big post workout meal i think after this one we got another meal i'm not sure what i'm gonna make so i'll have to see and a pre bad meal slash snack like usual. So yeah, gonna eat this and catch you guys with the next meal. So for this meal, we got some pasta that I cooked. Uh, we have half of the lean beef that I made earlier today with zucchini. So we're gonna use that for this meal. So what we're gonna do is throw everything in one pan. Like that. Mix that up. All right, now we're going in with spices. So now it's getting interesting because this is pretty bland from itself. Let me turn this one a little bit down. So we're going to use some garlic powder, some chili powder, some, no, I'm not gonna use salt, some pepper, and we also have this one right here. I don't know, this one is called, it's, it's called Vegeta, Vegeta. Um, I found this one in Germany, like in most German grocery stores you have this one. Also in some Dutch grocery stores, but this like a, if you 
if you have boiling water and you add this to it, you have like this, uh, it gives like a flavor of chicken stock, kind of the same. So it has some salt in it. I don't know what kind of spices, but it's very, very good. So I just put a little bit of this in it. Some pepper. Some garlic powder. And some chili flakes. I'm also gonna add just, just a drop of coconut oil. That's maybe half the serving right there. Turn off the heat. That is a big bowl of pasta right there. So good. Well, it's gonna add in half of this avocado. Just like that. And there we have a big, nice meal. With pasta, lean ground beef, coconut oil, zucchini, and avocado. So you have everything you need, you got carbs, some healthy fats in there, some, some veggies. So there's a pretty big meal, about 100 grams of pasta. I weighed it uncooked, so cooked it's even more. Because when they're cooked, it's not really accurate, you know? So that's why I weighed before I cook it. So 100 grams of pasta right there, we got 250 grams of raw beef. So also raw 250 grams. We got half of this avocado, which is like 50 grams and some zucchini and half a serving of coconut oil. And that is the fourth meal of the day. Also one of the biggest meals. And we also have this ginger shot. Tastes, uh, it tastes healthy, let's put it that way. So yeah, there's the fourth meal of the day. I'm gonna eat this and in a couple of hours, right before bed, I'm gonna have my last meal slash snack of the day, which is gonna be high in protein, not too high in carbs and a little bit of fats in there, but I'll catch you guys there. All right, so, Time for the last meal of the day. It's 10.40 right now. So I usually have my last meal around 10 or 11. And I'll try to go to bed before one, but my sleeping schedule is not the best, I would say. But hey, I'm working on it. Here we got the last meal of the day. We got 450 grams of scare. It's kind of like a Greek yogurt, low fat, high in protein. So it's, I think this is close to, this is around 50 or 55 grams of protein for the whole top. We got 100 grams of blueberries and I also put in a little bit of Flavin Tasty, the honey flavor. And yeah, that is the last meal of the day. Normally I would also put in some nuts in there, but I don't want to eat any nuts right now. So I also had enough healthy fats today already. So. Not that big of a deal. So yeah, you got some yogurt, some blueberries, and that is the last meal of the day. High in protein, pretty low in carb, and low in fat, obviously. So yeah, with this, I'm gonna finish this full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as usual, I will put everything on top of the screen, total calories, macros, everything you need. You can find it right there if you wanna try some of these meals out go ahead and let me know what you think of it but yeah that is all for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one